Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, for anyone who's ever owned a vintage Kenner Millennium Falcon spaceship from the, uh, the vintage Star Wars line, you'll know that the rear landing gear was pretty poorly designed and, and in most cases it really struggles to hold up the weight of the back end of the Millennium Falcon and let's face it, no one likes a saggy ass. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to repair the rear landing gear on the Millennium Falcon and not just so that it holds up the weight of the Millennium Falcon, I'm also actually going to show you how to make it functional again, fully functional, where you can retract the landing gear, extend the landing gear and the clips will always engage. And all you need for this is a rubber. Okay, so before anyone thinks I was being rude, I'm actually, when I'm referring to a rubber, I'm referring to a pencil eraser. This is what we used to call them when I was a kid in England, a rubber, because you rub things out with it. So all we need is a pencil eraser and we're going to get this fixed. Okay, now before we start, I've actually removed most of the uh, internal parts of the Millennium Falcon. I've taken off the radar dish just simply because I've got to manhandle this toy and turn it over and I don't want to drop or break any of the uh, small accessories like the Jedi ball or the, um, the, uh, the struts for the ramp. So once you've got all that removed, I didn't need to show you that on camera, it's pretty straightforward to remove that stuff. Uh, what we need to do is get the first one of the legs out. So the legs on the Millennium Falcon, when they're, they're sort of the landing gear, I should say, when they're fully retracted, they sit up in here and then pushes down like so. To get it all the way out, you'll see inside, I don't know how well you can see that. Let's move this around. Okay, there's another small sort of clip here that, that stops it from coming all the way out. So I'm just gonna gently push those in, there we go. And there we have the landing gear removed. Now, once we have the landing gear removed, um, what happens here, so these two clips, when the rear landing gear is extended, these are supposed to spring out um, and then hold up the weight of the Millennium Falcon. Unfortunately, the type of plastic that Kenny used did not hold its elastic qualities very well. It didn't hold its elasticity. Um, so what you find on, uh, on older versions of this toy, if it's been pushed up into the retracted position inside its, uh, inside its slot at the back of the Millennium Falcon there, these clips actually push all the way in and they don't spring out again, which is why a lot of Millennium Falcons can't hold up the weight of the vehicle because the, uh, the landing gear just wants to continually keep retracting. A very, very simple fix for this. So all you're gonna need is a, um, a box cutter or a Stanley trim or whatever you call it, and a rubber, or I should say a pencil eraser. The good thing with a pencil eraser, a standard one like this, as you can see, it's pretty much the same width as the landing gear itself. And what we're gonna do is cut off a piece and insert it in between these two clips to give it a sort of a, a spring type quality. Now you only need to cut this a few millimeters thick. I would say about three to four millimeters. I need a longer blade. Cut off a piece of pencil eraser like so. There we go. That's probably enough for two actually. I'm gonna cut that down the middle as well. There, there's, there's one for each landing gear. Okay, so we end up with a small piece of pencil eraser like this. We then have to slot it in. It can be a little bit fiddly, but oh, that went that went pretty easily. So now you can see those clips on the uh, the clips that hold up. They push out very easily. Whoops! That rubber just popped out of place. Pencil eraser, I should say. Actually, I'm going to get a slightly thicker bit so it's a bit more robust. Okay, I've now gone for a piece that's, um, that's just a little bit thicker, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't want to fold quite so easily. Uh, 
and there we go. This now pushes the clips out enough to, um, to hold up the weight of the Millennium Falcon, um, but also not so much that it can't be squashed together and retracted into the, uh, the back. So let's now reinsert this. There, you can see there, I'm pushing quite hard on that. That's, uh, that's gonna hold up the weight of the Millennium Falcon. And by squeezing the clips together, it now fully retracts. There you go, and all you've got to do is repeat that process to fix the other one, and your Millennium Falcon no longer has a saggy ass. So there you have it, a very easy way to get the rear landing gear on the Millennium Falcon fully functional again. And I certainly can't take credit for this idea. This idea was imparted to me by Joseph, a fan of the channel. And I wanted to credit Joseph for this restoration tip, this really cool restoration tip. And when I spoke to him, um, he actually said that credit really should go to his father, who actually came up with this idea all the way back in 1982. Now just imagine if we all knew about this back then. So I would like to sincerely thank David Esch for his ingenuity. And David, this video is dedicated to you. Mm -hmm.